everyone, welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to bring to you a classic like soul food recipe, moussaka. So it's sort of like um, an eggplant parmesan in a way. There are layers of potato and an eggplant and a ground beef sauce. It's just delicious and then it's topped with a cheesy bechamel. Simple, elegant, a perfect crowd pleaser, especially since it serves up to 12 people. This is great. You put it in your oven and you make everyone happy. You can serve this at any kind of get-together, especially now that the holidays are right around the corner. We're going to go over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. So you're going to need some eggplants. You're going to need three eggplants for this dish, about three or four medium-sized potatoes, some olive oil, salt, pepper, freshly grated Parmesan cheese. If you can find uh, a Greek sheep's milk cheese known as kefalograviera, go ahead and use that because that's more traditional in this. Then we have the meat sauce. I'm going to put the link down below in the description box. I've already made this. It takes like 20 minutes to make. Simple, easy, and that's in this recipe. You're going to need a double batch of it. And then for the bechamel sauce, which we're going to make later, you're going to need some eggs, flour, nutmeg, some more salt and pepper, a little bit of cheese, and some whole milk. That's it. You want to make sure your oven is preheated to 475 degrees because we are going to roast the vegetables. Traditionally, they're fried, but we're going to keep it healthier and we're going to make less of a mess by roasting them in the oven. You're still going to have all the flavor, less cleanup, and it's going to be way healthier. So I'm going to cut my eggplant. You want to cut it, uh, cut one part off so that way um, it's easier and it's kind of stable and sturdy. And you want to cut it into um, not too thin and not too thick slices, about between uh, half an inch and like three quarters of an inch. Not three quarters of an inch, half an inch and like quarter to half an inch slices. This is what you're looking for. Because eggplant, once it, once it roasts in the oven, it sort of melts a little bit. So you want to have some hearty, chunky pieces. You don't want it to be melted and disintegrated. You want to take a half sheet tray, put them on here. And we're just going to brush them with some olive oil and season them with salt and pepper. Anytime you're making a dish that has multiple layers, you want to make sure every layer is seasoned properly. So that way you have lots of flavor in there. And we're going to do both sides. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. I love roasting them instead of frying them because eggplant is one of those vegetables that's like a sponge. It absorbs oil so quickly and I don't know, I don't like, there's nothing worse than a greasy eggplant. So I like roasting them like this healthier and very, very, very easy. So I have my oven preheated. I'm going to pop these in the oven while I slice my potatoes. So the eggplant is in the oven and now we're just going to do the same thing with the potato. We're going to cut it into slices, relatively thin slices because potato is thinner than the eggplant actually because potatoes do hold their shape when they bake. So you don't want to get them too fat, otherwise they'll take longer. And I always roast a few extra because who doesn't like roasted, a few extra roasted potatoes to munch on. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the eggplant. We're going to brush them with some olive oil, salt, pepper. You could even sprinkle some oregano on here if you wanted. Make sure you do both sides so there's flavor throughout. And then we're going to pop these in an oven until they're nice and golden, which takes about 15 minutes or so and then we're going to layer it and put it all together. That's it. Put a little bit of oregano on top and I'm going to pop these in my preheated oven. Okay, so it took a little more than 15 minutes. Strange some, some house, how sometimes ovens work. Sometimes they'll be done in 15 minutes. But you're really looking, what you're really looking for is never the time, it's the color and the texture. So you want them to be cooked on the inside and they're kind of soft when they're cooked. And you want them to have a beautiful golden color on top. That's how you know they're done. So now we're going to move on to making the bechamel sauce, which is really a savory custard. There's egg and there's cheese and there's milk. Lots of goodness in that. That's kind of like the best part of this. It brings it all together. So we're going to heat up our um, pot and I'm going to put some oil in here. So you start by making what's called, known as a roux. That's a fancy word for a thickening agent. That's basically um, olive oil or butter. I'm using olive oil and flour. And we're just going to cook it, cook the flour until it's nice and toasty to get rid of kind of that like raw flour taste that 
It has? That should just take a couple of minutes. And then we're just going to add the milk slowly so that way we can get a beautiful creamy sauce. We made the same kind of sauce in the pastizio episode, so make sure you check that out. I'll put the link down below. Once you begin to smell that toasty, nutty flavor, the flour is good. And now we're just going to add the milk a little bit at a time. If the milk is warm, if you can get a chance to warm the milk before you add it to this, the sauce is together in no time. That's the sound of my oven preheating. Now we're going to season this with a little bit of salt. Just a little bit because we're going to get lots of saltiness from the cheese. A little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And just a tiny bit of nutmeg. Like a quarter teaspoon or so. Gives it that nice earthiness. Now we're going to cook this until it thickens. And it's going to begin to thicken as soon as it starts to boil. Then we're going to turn it off and add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so you know it's ready once it begins to thicken and it'll definitely coat the back of a spoon. Let me do it with my finger. Just like that, it doesn't combine. It stay, that line stays separate. It's completely ready and you'll feel it. You'll feel it in your whisk get really nice and thick. And it's gonna continue to cook in the oven so you don't wanna overcook it. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna temper our eggs. And that just means we're gonna raise the temperature by adding a little bit of this hot cream mixture into our eggs. And over here I have two eggs, two whole eggs, and two egg yolks. Just give them a nice whisk. And then we'll add a few spoonfuls of our hot cream in here. And just mix it up. And you add it to there, whisking quickly. And this is all off the, off the fire. The fire is completely turned off. And then we're going to add a generous cupful of shredded Parmesan. That is beautiful. This sauce is ready. Now we're just going to put it all together. All right, so you're going to need a big lasagna pan. Mine is oval shaped, but you can use a traditional rectangular shaped 9 by 13 deep dish uh, pan. That would be fine. What we're going to do is we're going to begin with our potatoes. So the first layer is going to be the potatoes, the roasted potatoes, and I just loosen them from the tray. If you wait for them to cool down a bit, then they won't, you won't have to fight with them as much as I did. Then they just like come right off. They detach from the tray on their own, just like that. Now between each layer, we're going to put grated cheese. So we're doing just one layer of potato, and now we're moving on to the eggplant. If you have picky eaters in your home, and sometimes kids, they don't like eggplant, you can definitely do it all potato. You can do layers of all potato, or you can do zucchini. Do the same thing as, as we did the eggplant. You would just brush it with olive oil after you slice it and put it in the oven until it turns golden brown and that would be a fabulous option. Another layer of cheese. And now we're going to add the meat sauce. Now you can make the meat sauce a day before and keep it in the refrigerator. You don't even have to reheat it when you add it to the dish. So it's a great make ahead. And you can, I'm going to put the link down below for this meat sauce. And all the recipes are on our website, DimitrasDishes.com, as always. And now we're going to do the fi final layer of eggplant on top. layer of cheese. And now our creamy bechamel sauce on top. Just pour it up on there.
And if you have any leftover cheese, just sprinkle that on top. So now we're going to put it in our oven and we're going to let it bake for uh, 45 minutes to an hour at 375 degrees and it'll be nice and beautiful and golden brown on top. So once the moussaka comes out of the oven, you want to let it rest for at least 45 minutes to an hour before you cut into it so that way it kind of firms up and sets. And the first piece is kind of messy so it's always for the cook. Look at that. Juicy, perfectly cooked creamy, cheesy, everything you want and all in one dish. And it feeds a big crowd. I'm going to take a taste of this. Perfection. This was my favorite dish growing up as a kid and it still is. I just love it. It's so good. The potato is perfectly cooked. The eggplant is also, it adds a nice level of hardiness. The meat mixture is just so good, the meat sauce and the bechamel, nice and creamy the way it should be. Leave your comments down below, let me know what you think. Let me know what else you'd like to learn how to cook. The, the recipe with exact measurements is always on my website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Make this and uh, let me know what everybody thinks of it and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.